Gary, I, I suppose Monday's defeat against Eastley was even more frustrating given how impressive the team had been just nine days previously against Boreham Wood. Yeah, um, but it's been a little bit like that this season where, where we've played really, really well and then for whatever reason we've dipped off. So, um, But I think a lot of clubs uh, this season have been inconsistent. Um, none more so than others of, uh, of late, you know. We had a, a disappointing Easter period. But um, look, that's gone now. It's finished with. We've dealt with that and um, we've got a big game coming uh, this Saturday. The team are still fifth, a point behind mm. thirds. It's important to stay positive and, and see what is still achievable. <laughs> we're in the playoffs. Um, if we were um, in the relegation zone, there'd be a massive concern, uh, and rightly so. But we're in the playoff area. And, you know, what you've just said there, where we are, um, we're OK, thank you, yeah. But we have to make sure that we uh, finish the job off. Um, you know, the players have done well up until this point, but we've got five very important games to go. And we are actually in the playoff area. So if we, if we can pick up the results, we don't know where we're going to finish as of yet. Um, it could be further up the table, it could be where we are, it could be out the playoff area. But we're actually, at this moment in time, in that playoff area. And I'm sure there are, quickly maths, I'm sure there are about 19 teams that wish they were having as bad a season as all the shut down. Yeah, are. it's a disaster of a season, isn't it, for us? You know, um, last season, you know, we got into the playoffs. This season, at, at the moment, we're in the playoffs. Um, you know, and run wasn't built in a day. Um, so, you know, we're trying to move forward, take the club forward, um, both on and off the pitch. So, um, you know, I'd have a massive concern if we were in the relegation area. I think James said it on Twitter in the aftermath of Monday that it's important to stick to principles. There's no need to rewrite the rule book. The principles that have got the team this far so quickly are the ones that you need to stick to. Well, we ain't going to change. Um, as I've touched on there, we got into the playoffs last year, uh, playing a certain way, a certain formation. We're in the playoffs this season, playing a certain way um, and a certain formation. Yeah, we've been a little bit inconsistent. Um, but that's what it is, you know, that's the level we're at. If, if we were consistent every single game, the players wouldn't be here. They'd be playing at a much higher level. So we have to understand that. Um, but nothing's going to change. We are what we are. We, we've got a, a certain way of doing things here at the club on the football side, and that's going to remain, that's for sure. The message was clear in your interview on Monday, the players need to take their opportunities, and that's not just goal scoring opportunities, it's the bigger picture over 46 games, I suppose. Yeah, that's not, and, and you're right in saying that, it's not just about um, taking your chances when they crop up, but that's part of, part of it. You know, you have, to, you have to perform, you have to take opportunities when they crop up in terms of picking the points up to, to move up and move forward. Um, you know, and eventually opportunities run out. You know, we've had a number of opportunities, you know, I would say more recently, and we, we failed to do so. So uh, there comes a point when you have to take it or you run out. And, you know, we have to make sure going forward in these remaining fixtures that if opportunities crop up for us, we take them. Part of that, as we say, is, is the goal scoring, though. Mm. Goal scoring hasn't been a problem for the team, but. I suppose it's, it's the easiest thing in the game and the most difficult thing, but the players have got composure in so many other ways all across the pitch, mm -hmm. but seeing the, the net in front of you does funny things to players, I suppose. Yeah, but then, look, the most important areas on the football pitch are, are in the penalty areas, both ends, and you know everyone will have an opinion, everybody seems to in football or outside of football to have an opinion, or they judge everybody. Um, because they're the so-called experts. Um, that's the way football is. Um, and if you miss a, a golden opportunity, you know people are criticised for that. If you miss a, a, a pass, players are criticised for it. If you miss <laughs> or lose a game, you're the worst team in the world. That can't be right. That just can't be right. You know, and you know when you're going through moments like that, you need the support, and we give the players that support from from our staff inside. Um, but it is what it is, you know, you have to accept that um, and take it on the chin and move forward. 
you also mentioned on Monday that the players, every time they cross the white line, they're, they're playing for their futures, they're playing for contracts next season. For, your, for, for you, that process hasn't yet started within looking for, towards next season. No, it won't. This time last year, we we done it a slightly different way. Um, this time round, we're doing it a slightly different way also. So, yeah, players are playing for contracts, uh, whether it's here, elsewhere. But even if you're on a, a two, three, four, five-year contract, every time you enter the field of play, you are playing for your <laughs> your future and your career. Um, so let's not get away from the fact that if you've got a, a contract until the end of the season or you've got a five-year deal, Every time you enter the field of play, you are you're being judged. As I touched on there, everyone's got an opinion, um, and they <laughs> they voice that opinion when they need to. So you have to make sure that you perform. Um, but the question you've asked me, um, yeah, they are playing for their futures and their careers and a new contract. Specifically about Maidenhead on Saturday, are you looking at it as a must-win or is it? A performance that's the most important thing? Well we know Alan Devonshire's side um, will be full com uh, fully committed, they always are and he's done an excellent job yet again uh, and they've done very uh, well as a football club. It's a must win game but every game's a must win game for us, we have to win um, and if we don't win uh, it becomes slightly uncomfortable, everybody expects us to win whether it's home or away, you can't win every single game. It's impossible task to do, um, even though we set our stall out to do so. Um, Saturday's game is a is a game that we're look at, looking to win. Um, no different to what we tried to do over the Easter period, and unfortunately we picked up a point in them two games. But um, we're looking to win the game. You You have options from the bench, options from the stands as well. Are you, without giving away your team selections, are you looking to, to freshen things up or also looking for a response from the players that have played over that Easter period? Well, we'll see on the training ground how the players uh, react firstly and then we'll pick a team accordingly, which we feel is the right team to go and try to pick up three points on Saturday. Um, you're right, there needs to be a reaction from the players that started. Um, if there's changes within the team in terms of personnel. We'll look for them players who come into the team to perform. So, yeah, there's a combination of a lot of things that we're going to look at uh, over the next few days. We look forward to finding out. Thank you, Gary. We'll see you Saturday. Thank you.